good morning everyone today let's study the histology of compact bone and how to draw them there are two slides on histology of bone one is transverse section and other one is longitudinal section first let's study transverse section of bone the structural and functional unit of bone is called an osteon the osteon has got a central haversian canal that is what we are drawing with black dots surrounding this black dots will be lamellae the lamellae is arranged in concentric manner so the concentric links of lamellae will be placed and between these lamellae will be the osteocytes now what we are drawing is an osteon we completed one as osteon now this is the next osteon so each osteon the center is the haversian canal and surrounding which will be concentric lamellae and between the lamellae will be the osteocytes so like that we can complete like, complete the entire slide with the osteons next how to draw a uh, osteocytes so these are oval cells with multiple processes as shown here so each cell is placed inside a lacunae so what we are drawing here is lacunae these lacunae extend into the processes also so what we are drawing is the extension of these lacunae into the processes of the osteocyte so these processes of one osteocyte is connected to the processes of the neighboring osteocyte so the lacunae is also interconnected by these bridging channels called as the canaliculi so all these processes are covered by the gaps which is extending between lacunae called canaliculi now the miniature form of the osteocytes what we had drawn outside the slide we can complete it inside the between the lamellae so this is how we have to draw one osteocyte and the next one so like that we can place the osteocytes in order in ring like fashion on each lines on each concentric circles what we had drawn which represents the osteon so we can complete the entire slide like this so where does these osteocytes come from all these osteocytes are produced by osteoblast these osteoblast cells are responsible for production of osteocytes so what does this osteocytes do these osteocytes are important for the production and maintenance of bone matrix so the osteoblast are the cells which mainly helps in the bone formation and the whole bones are resorbed resorption of bone is mainly by another type of cells called osteoclast so production of osteocytes are because of osteoblast and resorption is by osteoclast so what we are drawing is circumferential lamellae so this is the outer circumferential lamellae same way we have to draw the inner circumferential lamellae so between these two lamellae is what we have drawn is osteon so care should be taken both the inner and the outer circumferential lamellae are parallel to each other and it will be taking the same kind of curvature and we can fill in the osteocytes between these lamellae this is how we have to draw inner and outer circumferential lamellae the next type of lamellae what you see is between these osteons so these cells represents interstitial lamellae so these are the interstitial lamellae where the cells look scattered all these are osteocytes which are present in interstitial lamellae so now we have seen three types of lamellae one is the concentric lamellae which is seen in the osteon then the outer and inner circumferential lamellae which is present externally and internally then interstitial lamellae what we have drawn between the osteons now what we are drawing is a connecting channel between the two haversian canal so this connection channel is called oakman's canal so these haversian canals and the oakman canals helps in the transportation of nutrients to these cells so the blood vessels are transported via these channels the next slide what we are going to draw is the longitudinal section of bone so here also first we have to draw these longitudinal lines shaded lines this represent the haversian canal and 
these Hevesian canals are arranged in parallel fashion. So, we can draw multiple parallelly arranged Hevesian canal. As already we have discussed, these Hevesian canals will transmit the blood vessels and the lymphatics. So, we have to shade and complete the Hevesian canal. Now, these Hevesian canals are connected by oblique lines. These oblique lines represent the Bookman's canal. Now, we can draw the osteocytes. Here the osteocytes are arranged in vertical fashion because we are drawing longitudinal section. So, we can draw the osteocytes as parallel dots on the sides of this Hevesian canal. So, we can complete the entire slide by drawing these osteocytes. As we have already discussed, osteocytes are produced by osteoblast cells and these osteocytes when it gets older, it will be destroyed by osteoclast. The nutrients to these osteocytes will be carried via the blood vessels which are traveling through the Oakman's canal and the Eversion canal. So, through the Eversion canal, it passes to the Oakman's canal. From there, through small canaliculi which is attached to these osteocytes, it will reach the osteocytes. This marks the end of histology of compact bone. In our next video, let us study about the cartilage. Watch our previous video for the histology series. Link for the previous videos are given in the description. Thank you.